The devil's access to the souls of our world has increased through social media, even though there are a specific amount of demons. So there's no more demons. After the flood, there's only a specific amount of demons. So what the devil has to do, he has to use the internet. The internet is a web and witches are the spiders spinning it. Revelations 12 and 15, and this is very, uh, uh, do, y'all good? Y'all know, I'm going to keep going. All right. Revelation 12 and 15, and the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman, that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. This is very significant. So in the Bible, the Bible says that the woman in this particular passage is actually the church or Israel or represented as the church. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood. Water in this context of Revelations 12 and 15 symbolizes words. If there can be a river of living water coming from the bellies of the saints, there can be rivers of dead waters or evil words coming from the bellies of those that Satan controls. These words are the communications given to stop the saints of God and impair the working of the Holy Ghost. These words are spells, incantations, false accusations, false narratives, false doctrine, all manner of evil corruption communications, basically social media. So when we talk about this, we're talking about, now there's a, this particular group is called Abaye. They were actually in uh, the Lemonade video with uh, Beyonce and also in the, uh, the Black is King movie. And it's a, it's a set of uh, Cuban twins, Cuban French twins. And in this particular song, the reason why I'm going to show you this video is because they're talking about this water, this water that was to drown the woman or drown the gospel or drown the church. They're singing about it in Yoruba worship. And at the end of this song, they do a spell. So I'm not going to play it to that spell that you see there. But I just wanted to show you because I don't know if y'all remember, I told y'all a friend of mine went to preach in Africa one time. And when he was preaching, he looked out and the people started screaming. And then this whole tribe of people came up out of the water. Remember me telling you that? came up out of the water. Well, they live in the water because they believe there are special spiritual workings in the river. And I'm going to go into detail in all of that, but I just wanted you to see how demonic is it. They did their whole video in the water. So basically what they're saying in the song is, carry away my dead leaves, let me baptize my soul with the help of your water. So they're talking about this water. And the reason they're talking about this water is because of Oshan. Now this is going to take me just a little minute. But this Oshan, this is the spirit behind the BLM and everything you see and happening in America right now. Everything you see in the street, all the protests, everything. It's one spirit that has taken over America and it is Oshan. I remember when Beyonce was pregnant a few years ago, she dressed up like her and did all it. Well, they did a whole ritual on the Grammy Awards, I mean, the American Music Awards, and ushered this spirit in. And now this spirit is what is prevalent in our society. Oshan, also spelled Osan, is an Orisha de a deity of the Yoruba people of southwestern Nigeria. Oshan is commonly called the River Orisha, or goddess, in the Yoruba religion, and is typically associated with water, purity, fertility, love, and sensuality. She is considered one of the most powerful of all Orishas, and like other gods, she possesses human attributes such as vanity, jealousy, and spite. She is commonly described as, all, as the favorite of all Orishas by uh, Ola, uh, okay. Ola Dami, which is the god of, of this uh, mythology, African mythology. Those that want children or who may suffer from infertility usually call on Oshan for assistance, is what Beyonce did to get pregnant. And she is associated with the concept of femininity and the power of women. More widely, she is sought after in times of drought and severe poverty. The water spirit of Oshan drowns men. This spirit is invoked to emasculate men, put them under the power of women. Women use sensuality and seduction to lure them in and influence him to follow her lead. She manipulates and leads men down paths of worthlessness, shame, blame, and most important, what? Mental illness. This spirit, this is why the man is always just totally emasculate, like Jay-Z, just sitting there, just mind gone. The spirit comes to lead men away from God, just as Eve did in the garden. Her symbolism, the snake, represents the serpent in the garden. The eagle represents the rise of the women in the power. The blood sacrifices are used to appease this goddess. 
abortion, issues of blood, fibroids, tumors, cervical diseases, infertility are all living sacrifices of blood to this spirit. She forces women that do not comply with her will by holding their wombs hostage until the woman invokes her, until the woman invokes her spirit. She causes promiscuity and sexual folly in women to rob men of their masculine energy. This spirit needs male energy to strive financially and have earthly success that resembles male ego and fortitude. And it also switches between male and female in the twin form, abaye, which is what that group I just showed you, their name. Y'all still here? Everybody looking, yeah. This is Beyonce showing the eagle's wings. Of course, uh, Starbucks, that's O'Shine. Uh, and there is Cardi B dressed as O'Shine. And here she is. Uh, this is back when Beyonce was uh, showing her uh, pregnancy during that time. And this is also the sister circle in the river worshiping O'Shine because she's a river goddess. And here are some other images of her. And the tears that you see on Beyonce's eyes are Beyonce's eyes are actually tears that come down because of the pain that O'Shawn suffers at the hands of men. So men hurt her husband, O'Shawn's husband, which we'll talk about in a second, has really hurt her in mythology. And so she's crying rivers, and that's where we get uh, Cry Me a River and all of those, uh, you know, monikers. Y'all still with me? Okay. This is a group called O'Shawn. And their song is Blessing on Blessing. And in this song, they're saying all kinds of stuff. Like, I got holy powers like I'm Jesus, born out of sweetness. They're saying all kinds of stuff, but you got to see what they do in this particular video because they're showing you what Oshan brings in this, you know, particular uh, video. So I cut out the first part because they're actually doing a ritual, but there are captions here. But this is showing you what she's doing. And this is a, this is a popular group, Neo Soul, rap, kind of. So their eyes start glowing when the spirit comes in them. And now they're going to get the ancestors. So the ancestors come, and he ba basically tells them you're going to be victorious because the ancestors will nurture you. Oh, Sean will nurture you and honor these guys. So this is the ancestors. They're going to help you fight. So when the video starts, watch who they're fighting. Y'all sense a pattern here? How to invoke is O'Shawn. They tell you how on the internet. And you can just Google it. And that's what they do. When they see the captions in the, on the social media or whatever, they just know they can do it. O'Shawn is one of the most beloved Yoruba deities, which when respected and properly invoked, she holds the key to love, success, and what? Pregnancy. So all they do is mess with the food, mess with everything to cause you to be infertile, and it just pushes people to go on the internet and look for ways to be fertile. And they find Oshan. But you can't invoke Oshan without invoking her gay husband. <laughs> this stuff is crazy, ain't it? This pretty self. Pause. <laughs> You cannot invoke Oshan without invoking her ex-husband, Arano. According to African mythology, he is a bisexual god that switches genders. He would abandon Oshan. This is what happened to her. This is why she crying the tears of the river. He would abandon Oshan for long periods to dwell on land and switch to female gender. 
She was so upset with him that she begged the gods to free her from the marriage. This is why she is sometimes depicted with rivers of water coming as tears from her eyes. When a man cheats or looks upon other women, Oshan's daughters always pray for divorce and desire to dissolve their marriages under the influence of spirits. This gay demon is what makes homosexuality and lesbianism synonymous with Oshan worship. Men are totally emasculated and desire male approval to the extent that they desire male intimacy over female intimacy because of these demon spirits. This is what happened, y'all. They invoked all of this stuff. Santeria is a parallel of Yoruba. Um, and, uh, you know, the, all the gods are the same. Everything's the same. But Santeria is really big in New York and different places. But it's from Dominican descent. But followers of, I mean, uh, Cuban and Dominican descent. But followers of Santeria are often Roman Catholics as well. So they use Catholic symbolism in, in uh, Santeria. But it's all still Oshan. Oshan is still the god or still the Orisha that they all worship. And it's still the manifestation of Ola Damari. But because of the Roman Catholic parallel, you got, this is why, I remember I mentioned the candles? You got the hoodoo saints, which is Saint Rita. So Saint Rita is from Catholicism, but she's also a goddess in Santeria, which is from Oshan in Yoruba. Y'all got the picture? All the same stuff, just parallels, right? She's the patron of difficult marriages, abusive relationships, difficult family matters, and rebellious children. So whenever a woman is having a problem, you get this candle and you burn it. And it'll help you with revenge against abusive spouses, dominating unfaithful partners, dominating trouble some family members and dominating rebellious teenagers. Y'all still with me? This is the BLM lady, Patrice Colors, and she's getting ready to do a full one did concrete Rich. thing. Like the to be reckless. If I Europe. were, you know, um, really a politician to distinguish with someone who finds himself in politics. If I had that kind of capacity, that kind That's, of capability. That's uh, James Baldwin talking. What I would do in Harlem, for example, would be to organize a massive rent strike and have nobody pay the rent. That's the BLM lady. I mean it. And that's she's doing a full in the have city. Have nobody pay the rent. Yoruba this is ritual. A ghetto with the eagle's wings. I don't care how much rent you're paying or how pretty your apartment is. This is a ghetto because you can't get out. This is a caption from their page. And they say all women are owners of this power that they use called a yai, which is the primordial earth energy. They believe a yai is the purest form of energy, that it is the first fruit born from the sacred tree of life called the Aruka tree. For this reason, women are known to have a monopoly or manifestation through prayer and spiritual work. So the woman is fully in control. It's believed that the woman becomes remarkable and, pronou uh, becomes remarkable and pronounced after the first pregnancy, and it can continue to do so with each pregnancy. So the more pregnancies she has, the more power. The power is developed through the spiritual force used to bring a child from the spirit world to the physical world through the mother's genitalia. And the mother's genitalia is regarded as a divine porthole. So they're worshiping the womb. It's all womb worship. Homosexuals and trans blacks. Ancient legends have always forced the genders together to prove that the woman was first born and reproduced asexually as a goddess. So they worship the woman because they believe the woman was first born. So whenever we are, uh, uh, people are lifted up and celebrated, uh, when the woman is lifted up and celebrated higher than he is, this is the story of Nimrod, Osiris, Tammuz, all the parallels, the same birth of a son married to his mother. This is how she became asexual. She actually gave birth to her husband, which is her son, which puts her above the man. Women claim this authority. Witchcraft is being used to cast this spell over our world just as it was in the days of the Tower of Babel. Listen to this part. When you bring the Tower of Babel, you got to bring Nimrod, Semiramis, and this story. 
So because they have created CERN and brought the internet and recreated the whole Tower of Babel scenario, this spirit had to come. Y'all see what I'm saying? It had, it, it had to come. 